So what happened was, the guys from the cable company were here to bury the line in the yard. So they had to unscrew the cable from the box up on the telephone pole to do that. So the internet was just like, kaput. That's fine. That's fine. No big deal. Just a little catch in the stream, but we'll get back to it in just a second. Let me put out another notice on Twitter and Facebook that we're back up and then we'll get going. Give me just a second to do this. Twitter and Facebook. Sorry this is taking so long, guys. We're just, uh... Trying to get the word out that we're back. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. be good to go now now that I've put those notices on Facebook and Twitter for you guys watching on YouTube I'm sorry about that I know that took a while but that's fine you guys can just fast forward to uh, where the game actually begins if you like because <clears throat> I just had to get those notices out there that I was going back on okay now maybe we'll actually be able to start hopefully back unfortunately we'll only be able to play episode one this stream because I'm an idiot I did download the season pass so all the episodes should be available to me but I didn't download the rest of the episodes it, the exact same thing happened with life is strange I'm just a poo brain so that's what happens begin episode one Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> boop a doop. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. For thousands of years, House Forrester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses that seek to claim Forrester ironwood for themselves. And the fate of House Forrester hangs in the balance. Sounds pretty serious. Boom, boom, ba -do, boom, boom. <clears throat> Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. 
Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Get to work, young man. Clean that sword. Ooh. Press, select, and then press X to pick up the sword. What if I don't want to? What if I just want to walk away? I want to clean this man's sword. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. Press and hold X, then drag blood. with the stick. It's only blood. Oh, that's it. It's only blood. Oh, yum. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You will never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. Even if we're being honest, we are just a scryer. Just why, why not? not? You don't give swords like that to pig farms. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next he'll tell us he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> So what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. No, sir. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Grows more far fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Fine. Right. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. You know. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. Aye, Captain. Fetch your cup. No problem. No problem, man. I got you. Trinketh. To Rob Stark, the King in the North! The the King 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 to Rob Stark, rest in peace. On Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods are famous. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye. Death to the Lannisters! Aye. The North remembers! Aye. Yes! They approve of me. They like me, chat. Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, Got him. I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were mm -hmm. here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How I mean, I, I could. I your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To honor this Bring noble house. To House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That's, That's a lie. I'm probably going to let him down. Now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go. And find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Squire! Feels bad, man. Fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have gotcha, been a mate. longer than you. So, I outrank you. You should help me. 
Okay. I mean, just trying to be nice. Don't be a dick. Man, there's just some big pots. Wow. More wine. Rub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. Could be worse. You better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse. All right. Than See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. This guy's kind of a prick. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Who doesn't, Who doesn't love bacon? Love bacon? Yum, 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 yum. Farmers. Look, man, it what? It's bacon. All, all right. Is, at this rate, we'll never it's like I love this. bacon. Ah, peasant. What? Are you kidding me? Kings don't love bacon. Could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Ah, you'll time. get there. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. Hey, he's a whiner, isn't he, Chet? Like, come on, man. I get it. You know, being a squire is not much, but stay positive, man. Take your time. Something good happened for me. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walters, in a generous mood. Yeah. Lord Walter is in a really generous nice mood all the time. Hmm. Things are going bad. Oh no. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. It's Jared. Please. What? What's wrong? I, I have no idea. It's probably Garrett. People are people are gonna die in there. People are absolutely gonna die in there, chat. What's gone into you? You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't no we need to go we now. Uh-huh. Take the fucking flagon already. Oh, mercy servant. Hey there. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? No, oh, no, you didn't miss it, go. mercy servant. Oh, my uh, my internet right. crapped out for about an hour so that's why i haven't been here oh we have to warn the others good luck i'm sorry buddy oh. look man i got to i save more people right he's just one guy i really care about him and i wish i could have saved him but Wow, I almost missed that chat. I almost died just right there. This is a Game of Thrones game. I gotta stay on top of things. I'm probably gonna have to pay for that later. His dad is probably gonna have me beheaded for not saving his life. Oh, hey, can you not? That took way too long. Oh shit, chat. He's gone. He's dead. See, now I'm starting to feel bad for not saving him because his dad is going to kill me. Shoot that one! Don't be a prick. Oh, Jesus, chat. I, I think that worked. Kill man, solid kill. Oh sh shit! Well, I missed it because I couldn't really see it. It kind of blended in. Oh. Yeah, we got out, chat. Move. Juke. Get out of here. Kick. Oh, hey, can you not? 
Alright, well, I was clearly not destined to win that. He is extra dead. See you later, buddy. Oh! Uh, tendons. Oh, man. Peace, bro. Rip. Man, we need to get out of here, like, now. Yeah, that guy right there, he's gonna kill me. Because I didn't save his son. I'm gonna have to. Damn. Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? I, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. I mean, I'm being honest. I warned him. I warned him. I did try to save him. I was like, we need to go back you now. You didn't him, did you? What happened to him? <sighs> Speak up, boy. I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Yeah, they're gonna hate me now forever. Quickly! Yes, my lord. Oh. I thought I got it, but I guess not. Ooh, damn. You fucking traitor! Nice kill, dude. While there's still time. Oof. <clears throat> guys pissed because you left that guy? Yeah, I know. He's going to hate me forever, but I couldn't help it. I tried to tell him, look, we got to go now. Seven hells. And he didn't, you know. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. Yes, you will. Don't you. Don't you. Don't. Don't do it. Because he's a nice guy. I want him to live. He might not be around much longer to hate us. Uh-oh. He's giving us another thing. No time to waste. Yes, my lord. You have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. That's right. I know I can count on you. That's right. I follow orders, Captain. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? I you must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, oh no. Go. It's hit me with those hard do this consequences already. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! I feel like I should at least try to stay and help him. Ow. With love. Oh no. Aw, oh, chat. Rest in peace. He was a nice guy. That's one death already that I'm not happy about because he was nice. I don't like that I keep looking over there at my camera, but I keep doing it because I keep seeing the comments show up. Oh shit, chat! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. This theme song is dope, chat. Anyway, I'm sorry I keep looking over there, but I'm looking at myself and I'm looking at the little bar underneath it that shows me how many people I have watching and people who have commented and stuff like that. So I apologize ahead of time for looking over there. Free Quill, eh, guys? Did you hear about uh, Visery and the Dragon dying and becoming the Night King's mount? Littlefinger being killed by Arya Stark. Uh, that doesn't even know I'm ruining the show. No, I don't know you're ruining the show, but I mean, you're not really ruining the show for me, man, because you could be lying. So, you know what I mean? As far as I know. So, it doesn't bother me, man. Got the leaked scripts from Tor. Go to the Reddit. I mean, I'd prefer not to. Like, you could be telling the truth, but I'll never know. I'll know when I watch, though, which is fine. I'll still be surprised no matter what. 
all alone on the road, chat. Okay. Well, can't go back that way. That's fine. Even if it's true or not, stop being annoying about this. It's frightening. Yeah, man. Don't post spoilers. I mean, we'll never know whether you're telling the truth or not, but you could be. Can I pet the piggy? Alright. See you later, piggy. You little fucker. I wanted to pet you. Can I, like, draw my sword? I guess that's just my inventory. Well... Lord. Something's going wrong, chat. Fresh. Oh, hey there. Hmm. Something's on fire, chat. Oh, all right. I wish it would give me like better like vision for prompts for stuff that I can look at because I don't want to potentially miss anything that might be important. Okay, there we go. Man, the textures for this game aren't aren't great. I mean, I can't really expect too much from a Telltale game, you know? It's not like a, a Warner Brothers game or a uh, Bethesda game or Square Enix game, so I don't expect, like, amazing graphics, but maybe for the textures to be a little better would be nice. Yo, am I, am I about to sneak up and kill these? Oh! Oh! Bacon! That's not nice. Don't kill pigs. He was just minding his own business. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. I mean, there was a oh, pig. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm just going to walk I right through them. You. Big balls. You're a forester, squire. Sure. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Ooh. Probably a deserter. Ah, I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Fuck yeah, I did. Now why don't I believe you? Test me, bro. It's got blood that on it already. too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get. Off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Oh, don't even. Lord mm -mm. Bolton is the new mm -mm. Lord mm -mm. Don't even get me started on that guy. I'll kill him too. Like that. <laughs> get out of here. I'm gonna miss one of these QTEs, chat. I promise. I promise. I'll have that sword, boy. Well, go ahead. Come take it, man. Uh huh. Come get it, you bastard. Aye. Yeah, chat. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, shit. Well, I don't have the sword anymore, chat. We may be screwed here. Finish this fucking pig farmer. What is it with the pig farmer stuff, man? Classist, man. Quit being classist. Oh, shit. Get that pitchfork, dog. Pick I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, the axe here. <laughs> See ya. Now grab your sword. Get that sword, bro. Or grab the pitchfork. That might actually be better against this. There we grab something. Damn, son. Damn, son. I got something in me yet. Oh! Well, chat, there was nothing I could do about that. Just 
just grab a weapon, man. Shit, chat. Shit's, this shit's intense. Please. Nah, Mercy's not here. No healing. I, I have a family. Ah. Oh. No Sad story. No, please. No one white field will see you. I mean, you tried to kill me, man. I might would let you live if you weren't a piece of shit. Get out. Get. See ya. Shoo. Bye bye. Dude, I look like a badass with that giant sword. Am I the new hero of Game of Thrones? Father. Ooh. Feels bad for Pops. Garrett, you survived. Did you expect anything less? Your, your I'm amazing. She hid. Good. That's one handsome guy there. Ah, oh, Squirtle emote. That's beautiful. I tried to stop them. Nice haircut. Looks like a monk. It could be. Oh, rest in peace, Pops. Feels bad, chat. Feels bad. I killed him too? Fuck yeah, Mercy I'll Servant. Fuck that guy. Did this. If he had not tried to hurt me at all for like whatever reason, I might would be like, yeah, sure, man, get out of here. Like, you're, you didn't try to hurt me, but come on, bro. Come on, bro. You try to kill me? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. Because I'm not gonna give you a chance to hurt me later. Screw that. Iron Wrath, stronghold of House Forester. Man, that's a beautiful castle. It's like the background's really pretty too. This is gorgeous, chat. It's Garrett. It's Garrett. Get the Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived. Oof. Back home, chat. Nah, they killed the daddy. Garrett. He had to die. Well, it's Game of Thrones, Mercy Servant. Somebody has to die. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Bring the maester. Ooh, pretty. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. Dirty Boltons. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's... Unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thanks, man. Thank you, mister. It means a lot. Looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Mm, the blade Am I your only hope? But I should be able to save your leg. Thank you. That's, that's good, because if you weren't able swift. to save my leg... Some will call it vengeance. Probably not a good thing. The White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Elves won't see justice. it that way. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Elves just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. All right. Hold the wound just put maggots we'll on my open wound. I guess that's pretty common practice back then, I guess. Oh! Oh! Oh, and in go the maggots. Oh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. This is making me hungry, chat. Psych. These are dark oh. days, I fear. Jeez, that looks terrible. The of the house and the eldest son through such a I really gotta do something to, like, light this part of my face up. I look so dark over there. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Yo, Although Ethan? He's young, My boy Ethan? Together, unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Will it hurt any worse than when he stabbed me? Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did? Aye. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. I mean, maybe he likes me better. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all know. He was a good man. Lady Forrester Rest in peace, will be Lord here Forrester. any moment now. 
I'd like you to walk for me first to see if you can put any weight on that leg. That's not the only disgusting scene in this game. Oh, mercy servant. Uh, 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 I don't know if I'm ready. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. I mean, I'm not the most squeamish guy in the world. Like, it's a video game, you know? I'm not going to, like, lose my mind, but, uh... Ugh. You were right, Mercy Servant. There's one thing already that's pretty gross. I'm assuming I should probably, like, pick these up. Take them with me, maybe? Seems smart. This might help. Yeah. Grab these bandages, too. Yeah. Bandages and Forester Sword, bandages, herbal poultice. Okay. Just dig my hands well, in there. Cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. I don't know if I'd say they're cute. They're um squirmy. And they turn into flies when they're full grown, so. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. All right, all right, calm down. The tapestry. Mm -hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Yeah. I made it all the way up here. I'd say that's pretty good. Ooh, he looks cool. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Oh. That's all right. He's probably hanging out with, uh, hanging out with Daenerys. It's fine. Talia and Ethan. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mm-hmm. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although it's not a safe place I to be. If bring her home. Probably not. They'll probably behead her at King's Landing. They like to do that. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. So he's kind of like Jon Snow in a way. I mean, he's not a bastard child. He's just a squire. But she does kind of look like Catelyn Stark a little bit. Just a little bit. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Rest in peace, Gregor the Good. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. Hmm. Learn more about the foresters on the menu no, codex page. There? You're limping again. I'm fine. I am not. All right. So what is this codex? I'm assuming that this is just going to be kind of reading. Yeah, I probably won't do any of this. I might look at it off stream, but uh, I probably won't look at any of this. But. For YouTube, if you guys want to look at some of this stuff, I'll go from like one to one, and you know, that way you'll have a chance to read it. Mira Forrester, Ethan Forrester, Talia Forrester, Talia Al Ghul, Ryan Forrester, Garrett Tuttle. That's me, right? Duncan Tuttle. Gregor. Wow, there are a lot of these. Malcolm Branfield and Iron Wrath. <clears throat> really? I mean, I'm limping a little bit, but I seem to be okay. I'll be alright. No big deal. Just got stabbed through the leg, and you put maggots in it. I'll be fine. Talk to the maester when you're finished exploring. Will do. The Ironwood Grove. That's it. The Ironwood Grove. He stands there and stares for like two minutes. 
It's awkward. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. Is the it stronger than lives to this wood friendship and the weapons that come from it? <laughs> I'll admit, it is better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but it'll Lady be fine. Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> Talia asked to see you. Garrett, Hello. I heard what happened. No, it was it nothing. True? I was just a brave warrior. Your family. Yeah. I'm sorry. NATO. Off to bed now. Hurry on. F's in chat for my family. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. Oh. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. I should have gone with the X option there. I feel like that would have been a better This has been so incredibly dialogue. difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He said he loved you. Aw. He loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Okay, so he gives her the Thank sword you. anyway. Garrett. So, I was Garrett. able to tell her Garrett. that Garrett. he said he loved her, and he it's gave her the sword, so... Especially now. That worked now out. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Thank you, Grandmaster. Duncan. This was our land. They were our people. His your face family. is kind of fucked up. I share your Pretty bad. He's seen his share I of do. battles. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. Oh. Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Same. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. He can... No. No. Fuck him. We're Fuck the him. ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. Yeah. And what would you have us do? Don't provoke Nothing. that crazy bastard. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Has lost and our skin while it's still attached force. to our body. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. We need to be smart. Smart. Edward Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Oh, oh so I know you're not talking about my boy done. Ned. My boy Seen Bon. Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, no. this. No, we're not doing that. you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk. This guy's got balls, take, but that's not going to stop Ramsay Snow from like flaying your skin. Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. The wall. 
You're sending him to the wall. Yeah. Boys done That's fine. Wrong. That's Not fine. I will bolts. serve my land well. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll, go. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. Not afraid, chat. Doesn't seem fair, but it is to what take best. a stand. Everybody, come take my hand. I, I'll go. I mean, Settle. I have to take an oath of like no sex and like all that stuff, but that's fine. Because you can have my horse. That's fine. And I'll see you have plenty of food. <laughs> we haven't much time. I've got this chat, point so point that's fine. That's that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Lewd. Everyone's commenting about Ned's mistake. Yeah, I mean, maybe Ned did make a mistake, but it doesn't matter. He was still a brave and noble Were man, so. Me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Aye, Lord House Forrester. Forrester. Would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. That's because I'm a true Forester. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. Hopefully my uncle's proud of me. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Mm-hmm. Sorry. That's right, Jack. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For Secret good message. Reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. Aye, I did. You haven't told anyone else, have you? I'm sorry, chat. This the accent just comes out. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon... But like I was saying, the accent, it just comes out. It's butchered, don't get me wrong. But I just can't help but repeat stuff that I hear. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Will do. Gonna excel at my job, Uncle, please. <clears throat> That's fine. Thank you, Mercy Servant. As Iron always, from you are so swell. I am from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. To the wall! Feels bad, man. I hate to leave my uncle behind. He seems like such a sweet guy. I, I'm calling it now. He's gonna die because why wouldn't he? He's someone that you feel like trustworthy of and warm around. So why wouldn't he die? Yes, Talia Al Ghul. Are you a member of the League of Assassins? Be Th safe. Thank you, Deity. We'll do. So am I like, am I like sweet on her or is she just more like family? <clears throat> Cause I'm not technically a part of the family I don't believe, I'm just the squire. So I'm getting the feeling that maybe I like her a little bit. Which makes that, I would say, even more difficult to do. Ethan? Ethan? Are you there? Ethan! That's a big tree. <laughs> Holy crap, chat. Those are some big trees. Am I gonna be him now? He looks like a little shithead. Maybe not. Maybe he's not. Him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Hey, your Maybe dad's dead. Happened to him. Ethan's fine. Okay, it is me. He's just forgotten this is a game. 
You found me. Well done, Ryan. I figure I'll be a nice oh, guy, Ryan. right? I'm not going to be a dick. It's I just win. A game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. You it's a stupid you were game. Gone. I don't like it. I thought we'd never find you again. You'll be I fine, young you. man. Every boy I'm plays hide and seek. I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And. and Roderick. Same, dude. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and. Can't she come home? Sad. So many people too. in these guys' family died. It's, Ryan, she's it's rough. Safe, I promise you. I don't want not make promises die. you can't keep. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan. I murdered talking. uh three said people. Someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who? It wasn't three. It was just me. two, I think. Because well, yeah, the third guy got away. He says you can't fight very well. That's fine. What? I murdered two people. No big deal. Mm, he calls you a milk salt. So Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does Milksop mean? I don't know. But I know Pansy, it's not good. I'm guessing. Like a wimp. Ethan, you should Screw let that Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. I am the like, lord of the house like now. A man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. So he's such a I sweetheart. Should know how to fight. Maybe she has a crush, but <laughs> meh, more like sister brother. That's fine too. The love is all around. Yeah, when we were when we all used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You yeah. weren't born yet. We had so much fun. You were a mistake. Then, and everything changed. That would be terrible. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. The Lord in training. And Asher. Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please. Just be you. Nah, man, I'll be I chill. I like you the way you are. I'll just be Ethan. No big deal. I know deal. the Lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother be than a Be a good Lord. and honorable both, king. I'm afraid. But since you're the new Lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. Our brains are the same, dude. It would be dude. nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Ah, he'll be fine. Why not? Rotten teeth? No big deal. As many sweets as you want, bro. Just like throw them into his mouth. No, no, no. Quickly, on your feet. Quickly, on your feet. <clears throat> aye, aye, Cap'n. What is she so worried about? Matter? It'll be fine. Oh, right, right. <clears throat> this is only Game of Thrones. It's not like we're all going to die. He's gone demanding justice. I'm actually surprised that all those children are not dead Duncan? already. He is the like, they, I'm surprised they wouldn't die right like right before the episode starts. He's Ethan. Just dead. He's all demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were the Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehead is a mean old man, anyways. Someone should tell him. This to seems important. Alone. We should Goodbye. probably go do it. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. Respect. I just earned that man's respect, chat. I think. I'm, I'm hoping I made the right choice. I said this guy looks like a little shithead, but I guess he's just, you know, you play him how you want him to be. He's a nice kid. I think he's a nice kid. He's a nice lord. Yeah, things they look pretty serious. Pronounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. 
Now do it again with these bastards. You got Let's it. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Confidence. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason yeah. to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men lord I mean, we gotta be smart, though. You know, Royland. We gotta be smart now. Can't be crazy. You're looking a little round, man. Kinda like me. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. Thanks, man. I guess... The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. But to his family, it's still a loss. I just gotta... My All right. Regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. All right. Just trying to be a nice guy. Trying to be a nice lord because you're in my home. All my life, the foresters finally get their due. Died a hero. My father died a hero, fighting for the north against traitors and oath breakers. Aye, and look where that got him. That's that's why I think I got that, that got you. At. Get out of here. I could just kind of tell already he was going to be a shithead. I was right. Get out. Get. Get out. You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. Got to be a good host. Got to be a good host, chat. Promise it won't happen again. Not likely. You. I don't promise anything. Shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And I'm gonna tell the Boltons you said for that. Five fucking centuries, you cunt. Language. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. I'm not finished. Don't Maybe care. This is my house. Greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Uh. The little baby who wants wants what he doesn't deserve. Sounds like your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Oh, were Keeping you? The king's peace uh -huh. as yeah, as sure, yeah. When your man attacked us for no reason. Here's the here's the guy, mercy servant. Here's the like Mr. Man. No Garrett was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my man. Sure. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their time. He's one of those guys, uh-huh. He's a classist bastard, dude. I know he's here. Classist. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. He doesn't need to know. That's what? none of his business. None yet. None yet. my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. Maybe what you'll kind of answer to Roos Bolton. A house of honorable men. Ooh. Lady Sick burn. Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this, this is not over. Fine. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. Gotta be By a good host. Word is law here. Right? I'm if not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to say anything wrong. I'm just trying to be honest and upfront. Thank you for coming. That land you know, I'm always welcoming Lord guests. House. But get out. Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Do as you like, man. Like, 
Doesn't bother me. You have absolutely no claim to justice there. None at all. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. Bend the we knee. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing. Bend Land. his ass. I ain't scared of Roose Bolton. You're Actually, I kind of am. He's a psychopath, but whatever, man. No just a whatever, man. And she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Mm. That's a hint to me to not fuck up. <laughs> All right. God, this man, he's telling his mommy Bolton that the Forester stole his favorite toy. Yo, Mercy Servant, too right. Too right. Little baby boy. Little baby boy who didn't get his way. So he's gotta go cry to gotta go cry to Daddy Daddy Bolton now. Alright. Well, this game is already very different than Life is Strange already. When I just look at stuff, they just they literally just look at it. <clears throat> Ashes sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Ethan made this for me. Feels bad. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Oh, Lady Olena. Dude, I love Lady Olena. Lady Olena is like my spirit animal. She's like Sophia from Golden Girls. She's just everything I would want in a grandmother. So sassy. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Feels bad, chat. She lost her dad. She lost her brother. At least she didn't lose her, uh... At least she didn't lose her mom. That's always a tough one. Cole Brazier. A brazier. It's not brazier. Brazier is something different. It's a brazier. Do, 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 do. I kind of wish they would at least say something when I look at, you know, something. Like, give some kind of comment. Dusty old tome. Wonders made by man. There you go. By Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. Well, you will not be seeing Roderick, unfortunately. Is there anything back this way? I'm assuming I can't really see anything in this, like, side of the room. Oh, okay. We can actually go further. Anything up there? Anything down there? Nope. Can I sit in the chair? Nope. That's fine. Oh, got stuck on something. I'm assuming the the bed. The hell was that? It troubles me to even ask this. Of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. I'll try my best. Oh, I should have looked out the window before I picked that up. Oh, maybe I can. Because I, uh... What did she just... She just tucked the letter into her shirt. Oh, I can't look out the window. Feels bad. I wanted to just kind of, like, look at everything before. All right, all right. Oh, sorry, m'lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. 
I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. I'm assuming he's here to maybe. Oh, he's uh, he's loading more coals into the uh, brazier. I think. Begging your pardon, lady, but you all right? <coughs> if you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Hmm. Cersei? Ugh. Yuck. They Cersei is just... having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... It was <clears> definitely <throat> an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but... I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But nah, I thought you ought to know. It's fine. Thank you Most for telling people me. Most don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Ooh, he's like my little ninja, chat. Good night, just lady. Sneaky. He's probably gonna die. I'm gonna be sad. Cersei's just lovely. Yeah, Cersei's real lovely. Lady Marjorie, you're early. <gasps> Lady I'm Marjorie. There would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Cersei's almost as bad as Ramsay Bolton. I think Ramsay Bolton is my least favorite person in the entire show, and then Joffrey, and then Cersei. The day you arrived but Cersei is a very I close, like third. Friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered Ugh. me this morning outside the Royal Sea. Man, your, your, your buddy has uh, got some low textures there, man. You might want to help she him out. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Oh, the northern girl. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't for know. For what? But she's waiting for us now and i promised i would bring you to i didn't hurt her in any way i ask this of you if it were not important i cannot afford any conflict with cersei with the wedding so near i'll do as you ask my lady i knew i could trust you yeah Humor i mean her. tell her what she wants to hear just wanna stay in good standing with her because i'll probably need her help at some point see if the queen regent is ready to receive us You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. I imagine you're pretty good at that. Could you give me some tips? Some pointers? Good luck. Thank you. I'm gonna need it, because she's a massive bitch. Not nice. Not nice at all. Bam chicka wow wow.
Oh, Tyrion. You can do this. Oh, I just... Okay. Walking forward. Got it. Ah, Yo, Lady my boy Martin. Tyrion. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her gotta, courtesies. Gotta give her Impressive. what she wants. You may rise. Gotta give her what she wants, chat. House Forrester is a Gotta appease her, gotta humor her. Get on her good Pardon. side a little bit. I if beg your there pardon, even is one. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. All right, all right. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They were the wardens of the north. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. Thank Perhaps you, Dad. Too clever for her own good. Yo, Tyrion Hyde. The did say their loyalty was unwavering. She has a talent for equivocation, yet I question what she really thinks. Sorry that I didn't please the queen. Is your house queen. willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Um, blah, 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 blah. Yes, your grace. Absolutely. I see. Please. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey, if it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to... I'm just trying to get her to like me. ...new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others... Tyrion is easily purpose, one of my favorite characters of the entire series. Arya is probably Forrester my first, Iron but he's definitely my second. Unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks. Wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Ah, perhaps not. Look, you gotta assume anything I'm saying in here, Marjorie, is not I true. Like, come quick. on, don't be don't be that way. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their heart? You are a girl from the I north. I get the feeling she still doesn't Marjorie. trust me. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities. Okay. Uh, 
She is really? She'll remember it? Isn't she? Didn't she say to the just humor her and appease her? Why would she take anything I say in here seriously? Come on. My Don't do that to me, game. Will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Sorry. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Can't help of it that course, you don't like my right. answers. Can you help me? I'll walk you out. Thank you. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then, he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We Who only does? The guy's a psychopath. struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our difference. Trying to please these people. She takes great pleasure in Not easy. Charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. I wouldn't want to anger Cersei. And you'd be wise not to. But I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. It's true. Are you willing to risk that? Uh, it may be far too dangerous. Uh, In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave. I feel like Marsh. you got to go with the risks, you know. I mean, can we even progress the story if we now, don't? Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yeah. It's even worse than that. Thank you, buddy. Love that guy. It's a true. He's a trooper. He's a true soldier. <clears throat> he's my boy. I. I mean, that didn't really go well because Cersei didn't believe me. I guess I was too like convincing. Mira, I was worried. That's fine. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult, but at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way up the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. If only and you knew. Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. There you go. Put it back. Perhaps Lady Marjorie. I'm trying to get in any trouble right here. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. In Game of Thrones, really not very nice. It meant you'd become queen. He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well, which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd marry anyone if it helped my family. Family first. Right, of course. 
Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen. I feel like she's probably a little spy for Cersei. You know, she's just gonna go back and tell her. Don't, don't be that, don't be that girl, please. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Of Tar, I've just watched too much Game of Thrones. I know how this goes. <laughs> what <clears throat> a perfect match. Sir Bron and... What are you doing? That call. Well? Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. <laughs> the queen compared to women, yeah, right. By your display mirror. I'm just glad it's over. Same. Very uncomfortable situation. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. I don't know about that. Do you agree? Hmm. Things don't go well for her. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I mean, I do Ethan's in control of that. Ethan's got that. May have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Gotta do it. I, I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Agreed. It's kind about of about my family. I trust her. I'm glad you do. Mm. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that tire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. <clears throat> They're starting to add in a fourth dialogue option here, and I'm just, I'm like... I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. I don't know about that. He was kind of close with his mother. If it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. You look so Thanks enthused. Hey, hey. I'm trying to pay attention, Jolly. Sorry that I'm not like this all the time. Not completely grinning from ear to ear all the time. I'm just trying to listen and like. <clears throat> stay focused and make the right decisions because I could be beheaded at any moment, man. Sounds like something's... Oh, my lord. 
Somebody's getting murdered. Seven hours. Are we really about to witness a playing? Shall we? Oh no! Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a He's here, chat, and I hate him. I don't like him. <gasps> Can I? Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man. I'm glad he's turning around slowly and not quickly. He does now. I really hope that. Okay. Foresters. I was gonna say, I really hope there's not something I'm supposed to do here. What was that? Nothing. The Lord? Shh. Listen. There. I don't like this at all. Oh no, the horse is gonna give that? me away, chat. I know I heard something. Stay still. Because if I ran, he would just know immediately. And they would chase me. We so yeah, time gotta stay still, man. Stick to your convictions. It didn't see me. Yeah. Didn't see me yet. He could still see me. Okay, yeah. Just no problem. But you might want to stay hidden until they're gone, man. You finally got that PS4 cam? Yes, Carlton. Yes, I did. Don't I look pretty? Not at all. Oh, this is... This is gonna be great. He's gonna look like that. He's gonna look like that. It's not gonna be great, chat. Hmm. Oh, yeah. See, you can see it already. Oh, ho, ho. This is gonna be worse than the maggots, I'm sure. Yep. Bloody hell. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. That's pretty gross, man. <clears throat> Dude, that's gotta be unbearable pain. Like the worst pain you've ever felt in your life. Easily. Ugh. Lord Ethan. As I was saying. Yes, Grandmaster? You are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Well, tough. But because I'm a leader. Three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. <coughs> He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. <coughs> Summon the Lord. We Jeez. It won't be that guy. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. They're gonna hit me with a hard choice here. Lord Ethan. Missed. 
Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Alright. Thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Royland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Dude, stop hitting the guy. Jeez. So violent. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. That's up to me to decide whether or not I share my food. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. You can send him to the war. Hmm. <clears throat> oh boy. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish if I send him to the like no, if I take his man. fingers, he won't be any good to anybody, Justice, including himself. So Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I sentence you to the wall where you will join the night watch. The oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die. Nah, I got you, man. I'll protect your family. I'll take care of your family. But you gotta go to the wall, man. You stole. Can't be stealing stuff, bro. Like, I didn't want... I wanted to show him mercy because he didn't seem like a bad person, but... I mean, you did commit a crime. You do have that to pay for it somehow. Unpleasant, but... But a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna cut the guy's fingers yourself, off. Of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty. So I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. But Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one Lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above all. He's really vying for this position. They're too capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to I'm you. not going to choose the very violent kind of yeah. douchebag. That's just the bracer of the sentinel. The, the you know, office. Garrett's uncle Tonight seems like the right guy for the job. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. He seems a little sour that he didn't get it. Oh, well, you're a maester, man. I prefer you as a maester, you know, at least at this point. Yeah, he's not going to get it. He's a tail hole. Like, hitting that guy over and over again. For, I mean, for no real reason. I mean, yeah, the guy stole, and he should deser he deserves punishment for that, but there's no, need, there's no reason to keep hitting him, dude. Chill out. Man, this is a big area. Portcullis. Hmm. 
But once again, not saying anything, he just looks at it. Boring. Ooh, turkey leg. I'd like one of those. Have you guys ever had those big giant like turkey legs from like a fair or something like that? Because I never have and I've always kind of wanted one. When I go to the fair, I just stick to like funnel cakes and like, f you know, like fried candy bars and stuff. I just stick to like the usual, but big giant turkey leg. Never had it. Aw, this guy's own little sword. He's adorable. He's gonna die. Probably. By the by the rule of uh, Game of Thrones. Wow, this game's dialogue is a lot lower than life life is strange dialogue. Cause Max just says something about everything. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No even. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I Aww. carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. Aww. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. <laughs> well, that's <Yeah>. adorable. <laughs> Someday, Which means he I'll probably will one, die. But not like that one. I just, I'm calling it now. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Did you? Was he our enemy? A bad mm. man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. I mean... They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. He I wasn't a bad man. Him. He just did no something wrong that he had to pay for. I'll find the men who took Roderick He seems like a genuine person, sure but... Real sword can't just steal shit, man. If you're struggling, come to me. You're lord of the house. Don't... Don't steal shit from me, bro. Because that will be met with punishment. Slash and power. I'm assuming that if I look at him, he's still just going to like look at him and not say anything. <clears throat> yeah, he just looks at him. Alright. I mean, that felt like a difficult decision with the thief, but... It's like, look man, you can't steal. I can't just allow stealing, but I'm also not going to cut off your fingers. Like, that's... That's gruesome and unnecessary. I could just send you to the wall. Steal shit from him, the rich, and give it to the poor? <clears throat> I mean, maybe he was trying to be, um, you know, Robin Hood, but... Sorry, man, I, you know... That's up to me to take care of the poor. I'm the lord of the house, so... That's not your job to steal from me. If you're having trouble feeding your family, if you're having trouble, you know... Um, putting food on the table and stuff like that talk to me about it. I might not be able to help you, but I also could. And uh, stealing from me will certainly not put you in my good graces. You're all worthless and weak. Enter the tower. Is that the maester? Yeah, maester or Tengren. Look at the food. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We I mean, I'm not going to take money Luba from other people who probably need it just as badly. That would be pretty shitty trappers. lordship. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. 
Maybe. He seems like a he seems like a decent guy. I think I want him to be my sentinel because the other guy not not great. I do wish I could move faster. <gasps> I can! It's just like Life is Strange, chat. You hold R2 to go faster. Thank God, because he is moving really slow. I don't think I can go over there, I guess. Can I talk to her? Nope. Malcolm. Who's Malcolm? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. Eh, just call me I Ethan. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. Mm. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course. Hmm. You've spoken so my mother's going behind my back to, to ask calm. this guy to do things. Which, I mean, she's my mom. Whatever she brought me into this world, she can do whatever she likes. You know that but just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. Yes. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Now I'm starting to doubt my choice with, uh, with Duncan. I mean, Royland is a tailhole, but maybe he is the right man for the job. Mother told me. Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. Look. I can't afford any more mistakes. Ha! <laughs> I showed him mercy. I could have cut his fingers off, so... Shows what you know. The wall without my knowledge. I know, and that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but what? Ethan, please tell me. I, I wish Father were here. We all do, but Father is gone. You are the lord of this house, which is why you must be strong. You're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. I mean, I believe in myself, but hard times are coming, so... Don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. Alright, so you get an encounter with her, even if you speak with him. I'm assuming that this is just going to look at him again. Yeah, so it's, it's just like Life is Strange. If you press triangle again, it usually doesn't do anything different. Ugh, Sir Royland. Come on, come on, what did I say? Sword dog, slash right, parry, again. I mean, he's a tough guy. And maybe he is really good in battle. Maybe he's a really good, like, general or whatnot. But I don't know, man. He just seems... He just seems... First of all, he seems kind of distrustworthy. Second of all, he seems... Like... Just violent. You know, unnecessarily. And I don't know if I want a guy like that as my sentinel. 
He may be like the better man for the job, quote unquote, but I may just I may just choose Duncan anyway, just because Duncan's a nice guy, you know. All right, so I've gone all the way around. You know what? I'll probably talk to, uh, hold on. Can I go in the tower yet? What happens if I look at the maester? Probably nothing, I assume. Mm hmm So what happens if I enter the tower? Get a little bird's eye view, maybe. Yeah. We are a small little village, it seems, or a small kingdom. All right. Didn't really see anything up there except for what I thought I would saw. Thought I would saw. What I thought I would see, so. That was kind of pointless, but oh well. Just trying to exhaust all the options here. See what there is available to do. Look at the way he walks. It's like he barely moves his arms. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Hmm. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. What do you think of Sir Roiland? Do you trust him? He's a fine warrior, my Lord. But he's nowhere near ready to serve a sentinel. I do not trust him. He's likely to lose all his right. temper and get us all killed, and at the worst possible time. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate. So your Duncan advice. doesn't trust him, I'm but I think we already knew that. <clears throat> Can I talk to him again? Oh, okay. So that's it. <clears throat> Don't get another shot to speak to him. All right. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. We're gonna go talk to uh, Royland anyway. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm not going to give him the bracer. Wait. Uh, okay. Sword up. Swing left. Parry. Wrong. I did no doubt to know swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I had many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they not We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet. Up where they won't get much scrutiny. And put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weak. Thank you, sir. I Robert. agree. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Alright, so he's paranoid, somewhat. <clears throat> Ooh, I can talk to him again. Yes, my lord. Ah. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins. Or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you made good choices as a young lord. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? 
but he has no business being sentenced. Well, uh, really? You think he's wise, but you don't think that he's right for Sentinel? So, I would rather have someone who is wise than someone who is quick to action. I mean, obviously, being quick to action is important, but wisdom, we, wisdom means way more to me, so... Sorry, Royland. Not gonna go with you, man. You're just... You put too much focus on the wrong things, I think. I think wisdom is, uh... Wisdom is the way to go. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. Royland is not going to be happy about this. But he'll be fine. He's still, like, one of my top generals, right? Or, like, my top general. So, he still has a place, right? Royland still has a place. Just because he's not my sentinel doesn't mean he will not prove important. So, I wonder if I can speak to him again. Just rub it in. Just be like, ah, you didn't make the cut. Well, I can't give the bracer to him. I just gave it to this guy, right? Or, I, I didn't give it to him yet. I have to make it official, so... Maester Ortengren. Or Tengren. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yeah, were you watching me? Ooh. No time limit, chat. I like this. What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. I wish all Maybe the choices were like that. No gold. time limit? An That'd be great. forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Blood Nothing lust, satisfies that guy. by gifts and gold. Maybe some people, but him? Probably not, man. Probably lord, not. Are you now ready to name your sentinel? He loves him some bloodlust. Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. It's probably going to be the wrong decision, but I'm going with Duncan. And if it ends up being the wrong decision, oh well. It's just a video game. What can I do? I didn't like the way Life is Strange ended, so... Things don't always go the way we want them to. At least with Life is Strange, though, I had, like, you know, the rewind option. Here, it's just, like, it is final. It's kind of scary. What do you guys think? Do you guys, do you guys like Duncan? Or do you like Royland? You I mean, sit. I like Duncan. He seems like a really Lord nice guy. Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. They're... Duncan. You're both wor Royland, worthy. This house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Yeah, I know that. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. They're gonna lean in. They're gonna lean in, chat. Listen. I, I made sure that they both knew that they're both worthy. Which I really think they kind of are both worthy, but... I'm just siding with Duncan because, first of all, he's nice. He's not a dickhead. Second of all, he's wise, right? And Royland even stated that himself, that he's a wise guy, so... Can I give it to my mom? Take the bracer, mom. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! Ah, here this we go, chat. Reckless. Here we go. Lord Eaton has made his choice. He'll be fine. I will not disappoint you. He'll more. either be okay with it eventually, or he'll be disloyal and now, be a traitor. Sentinel, we'll what do you find have to out. Report of Ramsey Snow. Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. 
The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You but to say, the ah, of everyone within these uh -huh. I'm pretty sure they have a no, way bigger sir. army. They have way they more people me, backing them. Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Strong. I will not stand for this kind of Sir bickering. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms. But the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. That's also kind of true. Those guys are psychos. Thank the man. gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. <clears throat> Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Oh boy. So do I go with Royland's option, Duncan's option, or the Maester's option? Hmm. Uh, I'm I'm glad they're not. I'm glad that they're letting me do this without a time limit because I need to think about this one for a second. Well, actually, no, no, I don't. Because Square, we're not doing Square at all. Screw those guys. We are not going to become flayed men by fighting. Nope, nope. Diplomacy or bargaining? I feel like. Di I feel like diplomacy is nice, but Ramsey and his family are gonna want something because they're just those kind of people. So I think we should go with bargain. Maester or Tengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end. It will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. He's got a really good point. If you aren't ready for a fight. You're bound to lose when one breaks out. Well, then we'll be ready. We don't Ethan have to. We don't have to start the fight to be ready for the fight. His decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then. Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? Hmm. I, I'm not going to make him wait at the gates because that's going to... That's I feel like that's just going to irritate him. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. I gotta, like, Forgive Duncan, me, you gotta Lord, calm down, buddy. You, you gotta let me tell him to what to Lord do. This house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. I wasn't going to tell him to get out, because I value his opinion, we know what we must and I also wasn't going to tell him to be quiet for the same reason, but I do want him here and sitting hall. down. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. You better. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I feel like I made the right decision with sentinel, because Royland does seem very, you know... Very hingy, like he could just fly off the handle at any moment, so... My lord, you have named your sentinel. 
but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. He makes a good point. Forgive me. There will yes, always mother. be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me you want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. Yeah. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Yeah. That may not always be the best. Of course, Just your father flying was right off the cuff and you were in doing whatever you feel. That Asher could get us killed. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. Any nudity in this game? I don't know, man. Many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I mean, I agree he could be good in the fight, but someone who's instinctual like that and, and emotional, probably not the best person for, uh, for Lord of the House. I'm trying to best for this family, what this family needs. Same. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Sure. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. I mean, Thank you, Ethan. seems fine to me. I'm glad but you we'll me find out. This. We will find out, chat. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Well, let's hope I'm making the right decision, chat. I don't see any reason to not bring him back, but I'm also not going to put complete faith in him either. Hmm. What have we got here? The Tyrell family sigil. Strange key. really wish they would say something about the stuff they're looking at. Like, give me some kind of, you know, hint about what I'm looking at. Give me some kind of hint as to, like, maybe whether I should touch it or not. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Daddy don't steal. Mm-mm. -mm. I don't take things that don't belong to me. I felt uncomfortable even picking it up, to be honest. So, uh, 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 uh. no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not going to just be picking that up and taking it. That would not be wise. I'm assuming it's going to... Yeah, no, we don't steal things. Damn. Marjorie? Oh. Lady you need to get over that little kleptomaniac to... kick. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. I want Lady to trust Marjorie her, but I just don't. But I'm going to be nice. Allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... I'm just a nice, trusting person, but... People would probably call me gullible. But, I mean, I'm just... I'm not going to be cynical Lady, and, like, sour to someone right off the bat. Are you alright, my lady? Hmm. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. No surprise there. Mended. God. 
He said I was too easily swayed. Damn. Damn, he chat. He reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find Man, somebody. we are just quick to be like, yeah, it was my mom's idea. It was my mom's idea. Please don't blame me. <laughs> it was our idea. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. Fair enough. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. Yeah. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Maybe if we had done that di like differently when we met with Cersei, maybe if we had appeased her, then maybe we could have helped them somehow. But you never know. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family. I also kind of don't trust, trust him. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful. It's got to be one of the two, right? It's got to be either him or the I, other handmaid. Really one of them has got to be a spy. I know people who... I just... I just... I smell it, you know? Something smells fishy with these two. People it's got to be at least one of them. Bye-bye. Uh. Bye-bye. Hey there. Take a picture, it'll last longer. Asshole. Staring at me. Bouch Where's the Royland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand that. ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. I hope so. <laughs> I know like I know like this opposition with Yeah, do you like my wood, bro? Iron wood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? See, now you're just May tempting him. I Don't do that. Lord Ramsay of House Bolton, son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Lord Thank you, Lord. That's enough. <laughs> he didn't like that at all. Hey there, fucker. How you doing? Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. All right. Sorry about Aren't that. you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> Jeez. Not All right. bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. 
It seems the foresters have a talent for something after all. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift that we'd like to offer to your father. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give your father two of these groves in tribute. Give him? He is your warden. What's yours is already his. Whatever. Look at that. More forester. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. Uh -huh. Just as creepy as he is in the show. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, warden. Words are weird. Get out of here. Anyone can say the <sighs> I gotta I do it, to right? Show you. Gotta do it. My I'm not Lord. trying to anger this guy. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? But harder than you know. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. Alright. And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far off hill. The crown, however, wants what you Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. Ooh. I expect you'll do the same for us. Sure, man. My father has promised as much to the Whatever. king. Whatever. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a Whitehill. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord. Hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. No. Oh. You can't do that. Bastard. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. The White Hills had ironwood once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. That's right, you suck. Hill, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? Ooh. The little lord does. Ooh. Have yeah. I got we'll that smooth this. tongue. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood and we'll see who fares better. But my lord. Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. Alright, at least sure I was no able to. Uh, Lord Whitehill will install Could a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Ah, of course, not for him. Selfish prick. Go, chat. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Nice Riff. name, dude. We lead the garrison. Griff. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. That's. <laughs> Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You know, 
Frightened? Are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his uh. twin, my lord. Ah, oh, twin. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. Ugh. Not, a, not at all. Not at all, man. I never had a sister. Always wanted. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Oh like my her? god. Here we go, chat. Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? <laughs> oh my god. What have you done? Well, I don't want to. I'm dead. It's not great, but I figured it was coming eventually. Ethan! See you later, Ethan. Rip, bro. No, no. Even though you did bend the knee. I, I think the... we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan. I certainly feel better about all this. There's no way he's still alive, right? There's However, just no way. The foresters need to keep their end of the bar. Take the Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You throw a mason yourself. Fuck you! Stop! You don't know how to grow trees! Let it go! Stop that! Stop it! Bring up the fire! Dead. Dead. Gone. Rip. Rest in peace, Lord Ethan, dude. Man. He, uh, he died. He died in the first episode, too. Oh, well. I mean, I didn't really see it coming, but I also kind of did. Ethan it's Game of Thrones, man. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Yo. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not mm -hmm. fall. Mm -hmm. We will be ready. Asher's gonna come home and fuck Nothing shit up, comes dude. Without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Not really. I was not prepared for that. I mean, I kind of was because it's Game of Thrones, but still, just immediately. Oh, see you later. You're gone, dead. Rest in peace, man. You and 34.2 percent left Bowen behind. Well. I mean, I don't know, man. I felt a responsibility to warn the rest of the soldiers, but maybe I should have stayed and saved Bowen. Uh, you and 62.4% swore loyalty to the king. Sure, I mean, you're just trying to, you know, just trying to appease Cersei at that point. You and 35.4% sent Eric to the wall. Well, I mean, what else was I going to do? It's like... I, I realized that he didn't do anything wrong, but I feel like if I had let him stay with us, he would have died. Ramsey Bolton and that Lud dude would have come in, Lud Whitehill or whatever, and he would have died. They would have killed him right then and there for um, for doing what he did. So I actually saved his life by sending him to the wall, I think. So I don't see any problem there at all. Um... I love this part of the I love this part of the stream or like this part of these games is like it's basically just me justifying my choices, me trying to make up excuses and being like, "Oh no, but I did it because of this." I'm just explaining my reasoning, I guess, but you and 69.1% picked Duncan as Sentinel. Yeah, cuz I mean he just he seemed like the wiser 
you know, man who didn't get quite as hot under the collar as fast, you know? So he just seemed like he'd be the better pick. You and 50.1% met Ramsey in the Great Hall. Well, I okay, so that right there, that decision there, if I hadn't met him in the Great Hall, he probably wouldn't have killed me. Maybe not. But you never know. He may still have killed me, and he could have burned down the entire village or whatever. I mean, the entire kingdom. So, I did what I thought I had to, you know. Oh, well. There's nothing we can do about it now. This isn't like Life is Strange. You can't just go back and, uh... can't just rewind and make different choices. You have to... You have to stick with your gut. You have to stick with your guns and hope everything goes well. I died, or Lord Ethan died, but, I mean, he was a decent lord for his people I guess and he'll be remembered as uh, he'll be remembered as Lord Ethan the Brave so I was only lord for like seems like I don't know two days maybe not even that long and uh, I died or actually it was probably more like a week because it took Ramsey Bolton a while to get there so I was lord for probably all of a week and uh, that was it but that's fine that's fine. I did my duty. I kept my sister safe. They took Ryan, but I I can't help that. I I doled out justice to the thief, right? I didn't do anything like crazy violent and stuff like that because I felt like that would have been unnecessary and would have been just gruesome, you know, and people would have been upset with me. But I sent him to the wall and he can serve his land well. And I mean, that seems fine to me. It sucks that I died, but at least I died a brave man, and I died a, a man loyal to his house. So I still think that, you know, <clears throat> even though Lord Ethan is dead already, it's still a really good experience playing as him and with his, like, choices and stuff. Still, um, I didn't go out like, you know, a little wimp. I was brave to the very end, and I was doing whatever it took to protect my family. So I don't feel bad about my choices at all. I just wish it could have gone a little differently. You know, I wish that I wasn't dead, and I wish that Ryan didn't get taken. I wish Ramsay wasn't a psycho asshole. Wow, in the Game of Thrones, you either win or you die. Man, I don't even know if you win ever. You either die or you stay alive a little bit longer. I think that's how it goes. But, um... It's a little disappointing that I'm dead already as uh, Lord Ethan. I was hoping to maybe experience the game as him a little bit more. But what I did experience, I enjoyed. And I think I went out like a hero. I went out like a good guy. So that's what I care about. <clears throat> no, thank you. I think that might be it. It looks like that might be it for this stream. And we'll get to episode two probably on Wednesday. Because I don't stream tomorrow. Tomorrow's my day off. And Tuesday, I'll be streaming the Summer Games event. Um for overwatch so we'll probably play this again on wednesday i look forward to continuing it a little bit of a bummer that lord ethan is dead it's kind of like a big feels like a big cast member of this game is already dead but what can you do i mean uh <clears throat> bowen the other squire <clears throat> he died and then you know garrett got sent to the wall and you know lord ethan died and I mean, you just can't keep bad things from happening. But I'd say all in all, that went okay. Because at least our sister is safe. And Ryan, even though he did get taken as a hostage, he's still alive at this point. He probably won't be by the end of the game. But hopefully that guy right there will come back and kick some ass. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed watching Game of Thrones Episode 1. I have to go and download the rest of the five episodes so that we can play on uh, on Wednesday. Um, unless, you know, something may arise on Wednesday and I may not be able to stream, but I'll be sure to let everybody know on the channel feed and on Twitter and uh, Facebook, stuff like that. Um, so if we're not going to stream this on Wednesday, I'll be sure to let everybody know. But we should be streaming on Wednesday and hopefully Friday as well. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you back on the next one. I'll see you, Space Cowboys. <laughs>